hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. So every Thursday, uh, I'm trying to do, it's called Rabbit Hole Thursday, by the way. So this is a year of rabbit, okay, in Chinese calendar. So uh, it'd be perfect, all right? So every, every Thursday, we're going to talk about uh, falling down the rabbit hole with coffee. And today's topic, coffee water. By the way, so how many of you out there, okay, if you're just watching, just joining us, how many of you actually using like third wave water or like perfect water? Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Uh, this thing is not cheap. It's about, it's about like average of a dollar each per package. Okay, so I mean, don't get me wrong. There, are, I've been using it for years. Fantastic. Okay. You just add it to your distilled water or purified water. Uh, you should be good to go. So, this ah, is, man, it's, it's pretty late. Uh, we're having a late session there. It's about 5.15 right now. Okay. Here's what we need. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to big shout out to my buddy Steve. Okay, Steve, if you are watching, I, uh, he's not watching my YouTube videos, but yeah, I know. I got this uh, idea from Steve that he walked me through earlier today. So, so this is an 80-20. Okay, the coffee extraction, the recipe, coffee recipe from the Brewster Hustle. Okay, the Brewster Hustle. I'm gonna put their link. I'm gonna put their link down below. Uh, if you go to their website, they're gonna give you. Here, let me show you guys. Okay, let me show you their website. It's very involved. Okay, very involved. So, uh, come up in 2017. There, 2017, coffee extraction 80/20 method. They have a lengthy uh, recipes here, this article, <clears throat> okay, very simple. Did I say simple? I mean, I'm going to make a simplify for you guys, okay, I'm going to make simplify for the recipe. Uh, if not, uh, come to our Discord channel, and uh, so this is uh, Steve's uh, formula to here. I, I, I don't think that's Steve's, I think it's somebody come up with their calculation as well, but in this video, all right, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make 80-20 coffee extraction uh, recipe. I'm going to simplify for you guys because you know what? Sometimes whenever you read that article, you're going to be overwhelmed. You know, somebody started talking about calcium chloride. Okay, what is calcium chloride? If, you, if you're going to ask to somebody, hey, I have no idea. It's been a long time, you know, I mean, I took chemistry. Uh, calcium chloride is... Uh, I mean, they use that for, if you, have, if you are into like uh, uh, home brewing, if you make uh, beer or wine, you use calcium chloride, okay? And uh, you can get it from Amazon. All right, I'm going to put that link. And uh, Epsom salt. Okay, everybody has Epsom salt in their house. Even though it's a external use only, uh, you can use that for later on your uh, coffee water, okay? Uh, you're not going to die from it. So you need an Epsom salt, calcium chloride, and then you need potassium bicarbonate. Potassium bicarbonate. That's simply baking soda, guys. But I like to get the uh, uh, pure, pure form here instead of using uh, your ref refrigerator baking, baking soda. So just get this. All right. Just get this. Uh, comes with the what? Goodness, 111, uh, uh, 113 grams. Okay, uh, 113 grams of potassium carb carb uh, bicarbonates. So it is, uh, it is quite a bit. All right, okay, let's put that in perspective. All this ingredient I just bought. Okay, we got the uh, calcium chloride bicarbonate and Epsom salt like 20 bucks and Amazon and if you shop around you're gonna get a lot a lot cheaper as well so this much supplies I have it's gonna be last you literally lifetime okay <laughs> literally lifetime so it's so crazy that you know how much you can make the coffee water so this is kind of like just the beginning okay be beginning of a coffee journey so because water is everything it comes to making a great coffee, okay? Water is everything. So, 
uh, have fun with it. So the 80-20 recipe, I'm going to put the, their link. That's a pretty good starting point. If you, are, if you guys want to make uh, coffee water at home. And okay, let's get going. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on. Okay. George say I should wear a lab coat there. No. All right. So let's go. Should be a lot of fun. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live stream. Just make sure thumbs up on this video. Okay, it's about 28 people watching. Come on, guys. About four people thumbs up there. Let's do some thumbs up on this live. Okay, here we go. So here is the recipe for you guys. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make very simplify. Uh, if you are watching it later, so here is the just a simple formula. 0.47 grams of salt, or Epsom salt, okay. You can get a screenshot of that as well. 0.47 grams. You got 0.17 grams of calcium chloride and 0.16 grams of baking soda, also known as a potassium uh, bicarbonate. That's it. So that is an 80-20 recipe for okay, one gallon of water, or right, one gallon of purified water or distilled water, okay? You need a purified water or distilled water. So you want to be around zero TDS. So get the distilled water. Uh, I'm using the purified water right now. And the only thing you need you need a scale that go to a hundredth decimal. So I'm using the Akaya scale right now. Go out to hundredths. And if you don't have Akaya scale, just make sure it's zeroed out. Uh, very, very sensitive. So just make sure you're on the flat surface there. If you don't have it, uh, you can get yourself, you know, get a like jury scale as well. They usually go uh, three decimals. Okay, hold on a second. Go to uh, 100 decimals at, uh, as well. So this is the Amazon scale. I don't know how accurate this is, but give you some, you know, you know what, let's measure it. I'm going to 1.7 gram there. Uh, 1.7 gram. Okay, 1.7, 1.71. I think I trust Akaya more than uh, this uh, scale from China because I did calibrate this one. This is no way to calibrate it. So uh, we are talking about 0 0.01 gram. A slight movement. Yeah, change it. 0.69. There we go. Yeah, so again, uh, I mean, if you have, they're close enough though. If you don't have 100% accurate, but if you have Akaya, that's fine. If not, just use it, you know. Okay, at this point, you know what? So let's assume you don't have Akaya scale. Okay, so let's use the just cheap scale from China. It's okay. All right, I'm just going to tear it. Again, so we are going to start adding this ingredient. I mean, you want to be accurate as possible. So I'm, I'm going I'm to start adding salt, 0.47 gram, okay? Again, just go slow. I mean, I, Hold on. See, you see the salt? One grain of salt is going to be added. 0.41 right now. Just go, just a little at a time, okay? You don't need much. Just a couple of grains. You got 0.44. Point four seven. That's it. Okay. Point four five. Okay. It looked like they had a one grain stuck right there. 
I know this is, might be tedious, but you want to be accurate, close as, as possible. Man, this is painful. Up oh, point eight. Goodness. We we want to be around point seven. I mean, you got you guys get the point, right? There we go. You guys gotta get the point. So you are going to add point four seven. All right. 0.47, you, you want to be close, okay, you want to be close, and then again, 0.17 grams of calcium chloride right here, and then we're going to add 0.16 grams of baking soda, also known as a potassium bicarbonate, okay, after that, we are going to mix it well, put it in the cup, uh, you should have 0.8 grams and they are going to mix it into this bottle okay so this is the final product okay it's the final product of water so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do some testing okay I'm gonna add some water here so here's a newly made water I'm going to compare that with, I'm going to compare that with my brew uh, distal water. So I have a uh, distal water in, so I have a distal water. This is my 80-20 water. And then let's brew some coffee. Now let's find out, is there any difference in taste? Should be a lot of fun. I bet it's going to be different, but... By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Water is getting close. All right, you are getting close there. I'm at 96 degree over there. And it comes to coffee for today. I'm using the copy from Say, that's an extremely light roast, so it should be good. And there comes to my dripper, I'm going to be using dripper from April, okay, I'm using the April drip. Uh, Dean asked, why not get a five gallon? I mean, again, uh, the reason why I opted into the gallon at a time because you don't want to try in the beginning, you want to get your right recipe 
If not, you, you are stuck with a five gallon for a long time. So I prefer to the smaller batch. And at some point, if I need to change the ratio, I could do that. Okay, I could do that as well. All right, I'm just gonna get some paper ready. Here we go. Man, this paper is not the best here, but we just deal with it, what we have. All right, here we go. Okay, let's start with. Let's start with the distal water, okay? Let's start with the distal water there. Man, this paper is not quite up to the par, but we are going to push through. All right. Again, we are doing the say coffee for 13 grams each. All right, folks, let's start with the distal water. I'm doing the uh, 30 circle. and 70 center okay for the from uh, April drip uh, from Patrick's recipe there I'm gonna wait about 35 seconds I'm gonna repeat the process okay. so now is my time okay, I'm just gonna 30 second circle go up to 200 All right, and then let's work on the next one. Comes to brew time should be around about two and a half to three minutes. Okay, just joining us. Make sure a thumbs up up on this video. All right, we got some shout out to. We got some Jesse's on. We got Dogman as well. We have oh someone from Hong. Yeah, shout out to some uh, friends from Korea. I think my hometown is Seoul, so I should be come visiting Korea, hopefully near future. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping by next year, I need to go back to see my family in Korea there. Actually, uh, my cousin's uh, name is Huang. Yeah. Okay, we are brewing right now. Now we are 2 minutes and 20 seconds. So we have a G dealer hater, 
Dogman 22 doesn't like the G dealer. Okay. It's all right. Also, shout out to Brent. We have uh, Brent from Palm Spring. Also watching us right now. So we are at two minutes and fifty seconds. It's about a three-minute uh, brew time there. Three-minute brew time. We have a jersey from Toronto. Uh, just make sure to let me know in the comment section. Let me know where are you from. Uh, let me know the what time. Okay. Location and time. About 30 minutes and 30 seconds there. 3.30. Very close. Yep. You know what? Let's call it. Okay. Let's call it at 3.30. 3.40. All right. Let's call it at 3.40. For this coffee. Now let's move on to the next one. So this is a distilled water. And then let's move on to the next group. So it's going to be the exact same process. Uh, but we are using my 80-20 water this time. Okay, we are doing the 80-20 water. And again, this paper is a little challenging, but we are going to push through here. Okay, we are going to push through. With the April drip, you do not want to clog the bottom. Okay, just make sure you do not want to clog the bottom there, so easy water flow all right make you set the zero on scale 13 gram all right let's repeat the process this is 80 20 water Again, if you are just joining us, welcome to live streaming. We have a John from Philly, 735. We have a Seth from Alabama. <clears throat> we got Atlanta, Georgia. We have Darren from Orlando. Yeah, we have a YG from Korea, 930 in the morning there. <clears throat> so this one was again the distal water about two minutes about uh, uh, close to four minute brew time okay Oh, by the way, uh, let me know in the comment section is how many of you using or uh, use, uh, make your own water at home. Yeah, let me know. Okay. Love to hear from you. All right. We are close to two minutes right now. We have a uh, Corti from UK. I mean, past midnight there. All right, let's try this. You know, uh, let's not. Again, it's about 5.38 in Thursday. Okay, in Arizona time here. 5.38. Okay, and the injury is make water with a third wave water. I mean, third wave water, obviously, you know, you don't have to think, you just put a gallon of water, 
uh, distilled water and put the throw away package in, you're done. You don't have to mess, uh, mess with measuring out, you know, but. Uh, two, okay, so right now we're at about three minute mark right there, okay, about three minute mark. So this is the distilled water. Exact same coffee from Say. Cheers. Okay. It's good. You know, I mean, I taste uh, kind of like apricots. Yeah. What else? Uh, so this is about, surprising, it's about 3 minutes and 20 seconds shot right here. 320. It could be the location of the paper too. Okay. So, so here's what I'm expecting. It's going to be different. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for, I don't expect the same thing. It's going to be 8020, the water recipe from Brista Huddle. Brista Hustle. Okay. Brista Hustle there. You know what? Let me smell it too. Okay. Is there any smell? Difference in smell. Right? But if you guys are just joining us right now, we are we just made our own water. Okay. Our own water there. So this is the 8020 water. Cheers, guys. Okay, definitely different. Okay. Let's go back to distilled water. Yeah, go back to 80-20. It's more sweeter. So here's the thing. I mean, 80-20, obviously that's... Uh, there's a lot of recipes out there. If you go to Brewster Hustle, uh, if you look at the water recipes, they're gonna have 80-20, and also they're gonna have holy water. And what else they have? Hold on, let me look it up for you guys. Goodness, they got tons and tons of water from Brewster Hustle. Uh, here we go. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, uh, go check out the Brewster Hustle. Uh, I'm gonna put, uh, put their, uh, Put their link. Goodness. Wow. Here, let me show you guys. This is pretty neat. Okay, neat website. All right, they're very neat website. I highly recommend it. Do go check it out. Okay, I highly recommend to check it out there. It's a water recipes. What's here? Well, if you go scroll down on Bristol Hustle, the baking soda, that's the ingredient right there, baking soda, Epsom salt, obviously you need a water, um, they only use two of them. We have water from Melbourne, you got WOC Budapest, that's the name of the, you know, the recipe, SCA, Bristol Hustle water recipe, Rao. Scott Riles recipe, Hendon, Pretty Hard, Hard Knot, Hard Dot AP, tons, tons and tons of water recipes there. So, if you guys wanted to get into the water, man, check it out. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, again, so if you know, don't use baking soda. That's what I recommend. Do not use baking soda. Uh, just get the regular. Oh, by the way, here's one thing to remember. Uh, if you want to use, uh, if you want to use calcium, do not use it on your uh, espresso machine. Okay. So this one I did that for just the filter coffee only. So this is the filter coffee water because uh, you, at the, if you want to put calcium, you're going to build up the, the lime scale. So you do not want that. All right, you do not want to uh, get on, you know, use your calcium. So make sure be careful with it. Uh, I'm using just for my filter coffee there. Yeah, I sweeter with my 80-20 recipe, definitely. 
Let's see here, what else? YG, uh, YG is uh, used from uh, water from, uh, let's convenience store. Yeah. The water is everything, okay? Water is everything. Just make sure you use the proper water. Uh, with like distal water, uh, very flat. Yeah, very flat. Okay, John has uh, wet water. Yeah, wet water has a lot of mineral. Definitely, yeah, it's definitely a lot going on there. So, a whole lot better than, you know, but do not use wet water on your coffee machine, okay? Especially those hot water, you are going to build up the lime scare is mess. Okay, so you gotta, yeah, do not use your wet water on your machine. Darren say, is will RO, yeah, I mean, RO water should be fine. So use the RO water or reverse osmosis or, you know, distal water, and then start, start mixing it, okay? Start mixing with your uh, recipes. Have some fun with it, guys. Just have some fun with it, you know, change different amount, change the different ratio. You know, if you don't like 80-20, uh, okay, so you are going to increase one thing and decrease the other, so stay around 80 gram, 0.8 gram, let's put it that way. So you're gonna have some fun with it. And again, you're gonna have for a lifetime, I'm telling you. Once this Epsom salt, it's gonna be who knows how many years. Calcium chloride, forever, okay? It's gonna last for 10 years, who knows, all right? Who knows, so, so you're gonna have for a long, long time. I mean, this is a kind of like it's the ultimate rabbit hole comes to coffee, you know, because you are going to make your own water and start playing with your birds. Okay, the birds, are, we're gonna address that uh, maybe next Thursday. Okay, that's also fun, I love birds, and different types of birds, yeah. And then once you're getting into it, guess what? Once you're getting into the, especially water, if something is uh, not quite right, you are going to manipulate the ratio. And if your coffee is a little dull, now you are going to start adding some buffer and they bring out the sweetness and then vice versa. And again, just make sure, get a note to keep track of your recipe. And then, so that's another reason I like the gallon at a time, ideally. You wanna get uh, you wanna get a concentrate a concentration, uh, get a like you know three concentration with like little squeeze bottle, concentration solution of this, and then you are going to make one a kettle at a time. Okay, one kettle at a time, not one gallon, one kettle. So you are going to change your water recipe right away. Instead of you're using gallon, you gotta wait you know a couple of days to use up. I mean I go through a gallon yeah, pretty quick. Okay, in a couple of days, but I know some of you last for weeks. So, so ideally you want to go, you know, gallon is ideal, but if you have the right recipe for you, get the five gallon jar. Okay, get the five gallon jar. Okay, Jesse, just, uh, Linda just checked in here as well. Shout out to Linda, just got a say coffee. And then let's see here, what else? I think Jesse, Crystal Geyser is a pretty good. I mean, Crystal Geyser is pretty good. I have to say, uh, I use that on my coffee machine. Yeah. Uh, what? I think we are good, right? I think we are good there. Uh, I, so my plan is uh, before this week is over, I'm gonna do one roasting session. Okay. I gotta do the uh, M uh, M2 sniper sometime this week. So uh, hopefully you got the, uh, you got to get to see the my roasting session, hopefully this week. Yeah, we will. Uh, shout out to Bader. What, Bader is from, is Bader from Dubai? Yeah, Bader from Dubai, I think, yeah. I think so, I think Bader from Dubai, somewhere. Okay, folks, I'm gonna see you guys. Uh, by the way, if you haven't pressed, if you haven't thumbs up on my video, make sure to do so. Uh, don't forget to follow me on my cooking channel, okay? I do have a live cooking channel. I don't, I don't usually advertise it, you know, that's one of my passion of mine. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to put the link, okay, I'm going to put the, my cooking channel link there. And I, I, I started that channel about how many, I don't know how many years ago, three years ago maybe, it's been a while. And then, 
you know, it should be fun. I, I cannot wait to. A uh, brand new channel. It's not brand new. I had it for a while, but it's not a tiny, tiny channel. Okay, there's pretty small channels. So. I think I have about 900 subscribers. That's it. So I'm trying to go after 1,000. 1,000 by sometime this week or next week. So if you haven't subscribed to my cooking channel, make sure this so you get to see me cooking. Okay. Not only I make coffee, but we're going to make some fun. Okay. I do that live too. So I only have about, I try to stay within like 10, 15 minutes. So my recipe, usually 10 or 15 minutes. There's no edit. So kind of like what you see is what you get. So hopefully I'll come up with a fun recipe for you. Some, something fun. Okay, Georgie say, ended up having note or notebook too. Couldn't, yep, keep track of, and uh, wasting, yeah, too much coffee. Yeah, good. Yeah, just make sure you get a note. Okay, I just make sure you get a note for your coffee recipes and also your uh, grind size. If you have a multiple grinder, keep track of it. Uh, if you're brand new to the coffee, you're in the right place. Okay, you're in the right place as well. And if you guys don't want to even dip, go down even deeper on the rabbit hole, uh, hang out with us on our Discord as well. Okay, we have a Discord for this channel free to join uh, just send me a quick email okay no direct message on instagram just quick uh, send me a quick email there i'm gonna send you the link all right okay folks i hope you guys are having a wonderful thursday and i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow uh, i haven't picked out the theme for thir uh, fridays yet okay so i'm gonna pick some kind of theme so tuesday is a level level machine Wednesday, it could be roasting day, okay? It could be roasting day. And then Friday, uh, Thursday is a rabbit hole Thursday. So we're going to just talk about, you know, bizarre. Not, I don't want to say bizarre. It's something interesting, the coffee trend or, yeah. And also maybe Friday. Yeah, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but uh, we're going to figure something out. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and see you guys tomorrow.